Hello baby gangsters, this is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow more accurately, I think she couldn't use it. Yes, she had to like know how to assemble it. Couldn't use it? Why not? This is one of the most fun things in these trials, like it happens all the time, where like you figure something out that other people don't quite know, and then they have to like realize it for themselves. It does make you feel like the main character in our game, uh, Shuichi, uh, is very bright, and it's very cool. The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. So it was us. We did it. I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, I, for I completely forgot about Exit of Kukichi. Um, people are like, oh, you know, you're taking his baby status away, you're turning heel on him, which if you don't know what turning heel is, it's basically like in wrestling when the, you would turn it into a, uh, a bad guy on him. Um, for me personally, right, without his baby status ain't here because he's not out of the suit. If he gets out of the stupid Exizzle suit, we can have a conversation, but right now he's just an annoying robot who's like, like literally playing on our emotions more than ever before. He's got 20 minutes to get out of that suit, I'm telling you. Yeah, I don't think Maki and Himiko have had more of an interaction than they have uh, alone. You know, I think it's always been like in groups. What's wrong? Are you mad about before? Mad about before? Sorry, I thought they were gonna. Oh, cause she accused Maki. Yeah, she accused Maki. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. Story-wise, awesome that Kokichi is here because he is the ultimate Esther. He stirs up everything. It's really cool to see it that way. At the same time, it's not awesome for, like, my emotions because he is so good at it. <laughs> Sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Poor Himiko. Poor Himiko. Fine. I'm not going to lie. Yet. We're the Liar's Cub, you forget. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you. It's just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now. Okay, okay. Everyone, there's like two people here. She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. Smoothie, that's a funny joke. You should keep saying that those things. You should have been like that the whole game. That's funny. Then why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar? Like, Nico? you should be making you should be making these like freaking sitcom jokes all freaking <laughs> all all forty hours. I was asked to. Asked to. Perhaps the person who asked was I say it was uh, Kaito. Yeah. That's yeah. That's why I assumed anyway. I assumed she was bringing it to Kaito so he could use it. Was it Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Cause I know you like me. Nah, -uh. I hate you. But I like you. Like, like? <laughs> you are the same height. Hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. But to think that Kaito asked Himiko to do that, maybe Kaito's trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. Don't you worry, I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. Dude. That's not working hard, though, asking freaking Himiko to bring you a crossbow. <laughs> that's putting her in danger. Factually so. We're not arguing about this. Why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, I See what I mean? That's, that's putting her in danger. It is. It is. Then Kaito died and... I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. 
You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Terrified. Again, this game is like, we, you know, we try to act like it hasn't affected us. It has. It's affected all the characters in this game. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human She's beings. not going to do it on your orders, ever. Ever. Don't bully the person you Yeah. Love. This is way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Yeah. Kimiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um... I think it was around evening yesterday. They still have the question mark over Kokichi's face, which is cool. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, mm -hmm. and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. You know, honesty. Um, that one part was, uh, you know what? Never mind. Where was where was this smoothie through the whole game? So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? Moida, pure Moida. No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow, then went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returned fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. And there's proof of that. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. It's the, uh... The sleeve, right? Are we doing Kaito's coat? Or are we doing... Is there something... Is, is there, like... The sleeve, right? Kaito's coat. That's what we have to do, right? No? Oh, I have to say, the Kaito shot it as well? Okay, so that's where to see how, to see how uh, okay, okay, that's my bad, my bad, my bad. Kokichi's clothes? This is okay, it. grand. Okay, I was just doing the opposite. Just doing the opposite, Remember I think. Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Why don't I remember even seeing this image? Was I... Did I pass out for like two minutes? Then it was Kaito who shot him, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. If you don't remember, it's okay. You can be quiet, Kokichi, you know? You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Maki's been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? If so, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. Doesn't matter what happened in the middle. But in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. So we're saying that like in the end, the conclusion stays the same. But it's like... Once again, it's too easy. It's way too easy. Then let's hurry up and It's vote. way too easy. No, it's too soon. There are still yeah, mysteries. Like the who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. Someone all of us will die. You sure about that? Yeah, all of us will die. Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. All your children are dead. You could probably After think about that all, as well. There should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Jesus engine Christ. <laughs> What? Oh my god. What? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. You need to 
Stop. He's got to still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the X. So was Kaito's. So was Kaito's. But we heard it speak yes. in Kaito's voice earlier. Did it? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. But then who's in the freaking uh then, because it can't be Kaito. Why would Kaito, like, do this? <laughs> it can't be Kaito doing this voice. It doesn't make any sense, like, why, why Kaito would do this. What? Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. Yeah, but why would Kaito... If Kaito did that, I would never look at him in the eyes again. If he was doing a full impression of Kokichi this whole time, I would never look at him again the same way. Sorry for the wait, guys. That's so, that that's not even a Kaito phrasing. The luminary of the stars has arrived. This time for real. That's not that's not the way he would speak. He's like he's a cadence even like. What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. Monokuba, I am um, moving for a mistrial. <laughs> Please. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. What do you mean? You were perfectly acting like Kokichi. You were doing a full performance, if that is Kaito. If that was Kaito, you were doing a full, full, full performance. You were at the pantomime. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Jesus Christ. Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? I'm so... That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Either either or at this stage. Someone come out of the exile right now. <laughs> hey now, Maki Roll. Maki Roll. Would you believe me? That's gonna set her off. Don't. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Call me that. Yep. Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? You were doing a full performance, man. My head hurts. Ah! I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Okay, then we can wait. We can wait a bit. Like, there's not like the trial can last for a bit, right? We can wait for you to get out of the exit. I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. Okay, then just lift up the top part and just talk. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Then exercise. lift up the top part, then. Lift up the top part. Is that so? Himiko. Please, girl. But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. Yeah, we, I don't believe you. So, you're up. No, 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 no. Open the top part right now. This is effing with everyone's mind. That's why Himiko's like this. That's why Smoothie's like this. That's why Maki's like this. It's effing with people's minds. It's effing with my mind. Take off the helmet right now and let me see what it is. What? Me? Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. <laughs> this is insane. Kaido's alive after all. No! And they just walk. That's just what I want to tr believe. Is it really true? What story does the evidence tell? Does the story end with Kaito or Kikichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question, and soon! I can't look away from the truth. Wait, what? The victim of this case is... I, I don't... I... I... I don't know. I... I tried to pause, but it wouldn't let me pause. Like, here's the thing. Like, I let it... Like, I need to think about this, right? Like, this is not something that, like, it just passes by really quickly. This is terrifying. But, like, how am I supposed to know? Look, all we can say is, I'm gonna pick... Okay, hear me out. I think I'm gonna pick... Well, we saw the videotape and they said it wasn't doctored. So right now, I think it's probably better to pick Kaito. Plus, Marishuichi, you just gotta st say it with confidence. I can't look away from the truth. And Kaito wouldn't be acting like this either. I'm gonna pick Kaito. I'm... A very silly question, but let's go. I'm trying, I already am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaito. Hey, 
what's the matter, Shuichi? Stop. Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. De just take off the helmet. No, I won't. Because you're not 100% it's not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> good, good. This is already more entertaining. But what are we doing? Like, what are we do? Like, what are we doing? Like, what is happening here? I would like to see it, an actual lawyer this time around. This is effing with my mind. Now, the ultimate academy what? is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial ground. There's like one and a half of us. Split opinion. I thought everyone agrees that Kaido was alive, no? No, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't. Wait, who's gonna be on our side? Wait, who are you? Oh, we're with Maki, perfect. So we, we now both believe that Kaido is dead. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this. Unless he comes out of the Exosol. We can't confirm it. I agree. I agree. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. I'm Maki. so happy Anyone who knows that about we're with Maki for this. This makes me so happy. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Maki. Interrupt before she can finish footage? speaking. Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I got this. Kaito's clothes had arrow holes. So we're just looking too. for the key words again. This is this I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated. Maki. The mastermind is still alive. Inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I, got I think this. like because I think there the has to be a feeling of like that also Kaito that we have to accept alive. it at some point and also here we go. Honestly, we did so well in that that they should they should just give it to us. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at this all together. I can't take screenshots in this game. It's unfortunate. I can do it in recording afterwards, but unfortunate. I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still. No, no. Of course, of course, Maki and Shuichi don't want to believe it. Of course. But the evidence. The evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at... See, the, again, the trust in Shuichi that these guys mistake. have as well. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Is it actually Kokichi... Take off the Exosil helmet right now. That was just a little joke. Kokichi, young man. Kokichi, Patrick, Oma, take off your helmet. What a sick joke. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Himiko. I agree. You're still an asshole. I agree. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm. Be rational. Take off the helmet. Kokichi, Patrick, Sanders, Oma. Take off the helmet. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah, just keep calm and carry on. You shut your mouth as well. You go away. Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Himiko, go up and box him right in the jaw. Go on. Getting back on topic. Why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? Fuck him. I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. Why no one is not suggested to take off the helmet when we've seen that the helmet can open is crazy to me. I agree. But he's not going to do it anyway, I guess. What do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of Himiko is like Himiko is like standing up to this Exosol over and over again. The Exosol is right behind her and she does not give a damn. 
So if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow... Which just sounds hilarious, in fairness. Like, the two of them picked up the crossbow and shot each other? Like, what? Then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. You need to be quiet. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then, let the debate begin! See, it's like, so perfect, as well. Like, because it's, it's, it's meant to boil your blood. It's meant to make you, like... Like, it's meant to make everything erratic. It's meant to make everything feel like it's out of place and, like, you know, you know, we're not going to win. You know what I mean? Like, that we can't win. That's what this is meant to do. It's meant to feel like we are getting thrown around the place, like, by a giant gorilla. You know? It, 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 it's meant to feel that way. And it feels that way. It feels like everything is so out of place and erratic. And that's the intention. It's really good. Crossbow, three arrows, electro bomb, use electro hammer, poison. When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? What was going on? If you need to ask, you are there. <laughs> Himiko's so upset. The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too. Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one. No, the two bags are still there. But only one crossbow was taken. Yep. The other two are still in my research lab. Yep. Still, only one arrow was fired. So how could they both shoot each other? Only one arrow was fired. Okay. By the way, crossbow shots hurt a lot. My wound is still aching something fierce. They made a point. Here's the thing. Okay, one second here. What was that just now? I feel like it goes against the information I have. When the crossbow fired. When they said one hour, we have an image of three arrows of blood on them. Yeah, on. like there you go. That's you again. I feel. I feel like. I feel like this the trial is more straightforward in terms first. of its like gameplay, it but it's all over the place Kikichi intentionally so with its Kikichi story. You know, Kaito, which I think is cool. And returns fire. Because it's like, hey, we're making sense of this. Well, well, this Exil is trying to make. You know, make it into like a mess. A different one. But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still. Like we could have agreed with her if if we had if it was blue. You know what yeah. I mean? Only one arrow. Only one arrow. That's wrong. Wait, Himiko. What do you mean? There was three arrow. arrows bloodied, and they're bolts. One arrow, so. What? The three bloody arrows. Are you positive? Of course. There's no way I got that wrong. Well then, that's strange because. There were three arrows in the bathroom, remember? Three? I know I only gave him one. Yeah, and they were all bloody as well. Kaito even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said she only brought one. What's going on here? Um, maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood yep. on them. So like that, that thing, so one was shot with Kokichi, one was shot into Kaito. What was the, and one doesn't have its feathers on it, so one was probably used in a different way, because one doesn't have its um, little feathers on it. I just noticed that right now. And all together, their clothes had three perforations in them. Oh, okay, so that makes sense. That makes sense, okay. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at But one of the arrows was, didn't have the aerodynamic things on it. Then when did those arrows come? Where, where did those arrows come from? I don't think Himiko was lying. There must have been someone, some angle to this we haven't considered yet. What is it? What could have happened? Think. I need to think. <gasps> oh, I need to think, all right. I need to psych taxi. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to turn off the skill. No! This is gonna go so quick. Look at this. It's gonna go so quick. 
so sad. So uh, I'm just driving around here. No, I'm not on my phone. How many hours did him go give Kaito? One. Yeah, we're gonna say one. It's already over, man. And it's only there's only three phases as well. Can we go into the menu and turn off our skills? One, one, okay. Hey, Cassandra. Ow! Good. It's freaking awesome. This is so much fun. And also, like the driving is like intent, like it, it feels like like Outrun. You know what I mean? It feels like a, a like a a very 3D version of Outrun, which is a really fantastic game. Um, which I have played only through the Yakuza games, but I have an Outrun. I have the 3D Outrun game on my PlayStation 2, I believe it is. Where are all the arrows inside the hangar from the start? I don't freaking know this one. What do you guys think? Give me an answer right now. If you guys don't give me an answer, give me an answer now. No or yes. Is that what's going to be? No or yes. Or yes or no. Uh, no. Okay. I say no because it... Uh, I don't know. I, I, I think that they, they, they would have to get rid... You know, the, the bag was there. There's two bags left in the place. I don't think Kikichi would bring arrows. I don't think you'd suspect that they'd get the arrows from there. Unless he would. I don't know. But like, why would... Yeah, why would you just bring arrows and not the crossbow bolt? You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. Who brought the two arrows? That's crazy to me. Like, how is it gonna be like, how many options is it gonna be? There's gonna be three options? So, they're gonna pick like, what? Well, Kokichi's one of them, for sure. Kaito's one of them. Wait, Kokichi, a third party, Himiko. A third party? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking maybe something like, uh... I wonder, like, would, um... Maki have done it? Yeah. There we go. That's good. I wish it would have lasted a bit longer, but... Can you take off skills now? Could it be? Sorry. Can I take off skills? Excuse me, can I take off my skills? Can I take off my skills, please? Uh, you can't. I don't think you can. That's depressing. That the addition A third party? So, someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? Yeah. That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. So how would they get a hold of the arrows then? I guess the black Instead, case was there. They went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yeah, that hangar should have been completely closed off, right? It was completely closed off, but can we confirm that? I feel like there might have been another way, some way we haven't figured out. I'm overthink- I'm overlooking something, think, think. What method did the third party use to enter the hangar? Hangman's Gambit, oh god. It's one word though, it's one word. Okay, it gets- Ass. S- -s, -s <laughs> I don't know what the- okay. E. What's this one? This is very intentional guessing. Oh god, I, I forgot we have, have life. It's not EI. It's not EL. Okay, we're gonna lose this. Okay, this is very silly of me, but I don't know the word. So, E? Okay, let's see now. Exazil. How do you spell Exazil? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. I didn't, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Retry. Make preparations and retry. That's how I could have done it. Okay. 
Okay, one second here. We're gonna sacrifice something here. No, okay. Look, I'm not gonna be silly about this. Or am I gonna- I love Psych Taxi so much though. I wanna get rid of that skill, but I also don't wanna be silly. You know what I mean? I feel like that's just like annoying to watch. Me being like, I'll do it. So Exazil. Oh, there's a freaking eye in there, isn't there? Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's an A, I thought, I thought it was an A. That's an E. Why am I, Calvin, wait. Wait, stop being impatient. This isn't Psych Taxi, that goes by really fast. So the Exil brought it in? Because we did see one Exil went into the room, didn't it? Like, that was Garden. The Exasol. The Exasol could be used to enter. Exasol. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. Yeah. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the Exasols, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an Exasol. So Kokichi could have done that? I saw an Exasol enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? But who's the third party? By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monica. I just want to confirm something with your mother, if I ever meet her, you know? Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an Exasol? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I can tell you guys. Sure. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an Exosol. After all, the hangar is where the Exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an Exosol comes and goes, you know? True. So even if someone is inside an Exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. What if it's Junko? Does it be a hassle to leave the Exosol every time you have to put it away? So it's like Shuichi said, a third party got in an Exosol and entered the hangar? But can just anyone pilot an Exosol? Well, Kokichi? It's surprisingly easy. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. I was worried about the both nipples part. I was worried he wouldn't say it. Kokichi's my freaking baby, right? He's like a child to me, right? He's my child. But I need... I need... Sometimes you need to discipline your children. <laughs> Get out of there! Nipples too! Nipples too! Anyway, this third party commandeered an Exosol and infiltrated the hangar. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you that's impossible. Huh? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an Exosol. It's not possible. What? Not possible? Maki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying to hide it? Why? Why won't you tell me? It can be kind of frustrating because it does feel like there's a divide sometimes, isn't there? That does feel like there's a divide. Use that drama exos when you're doing bomb. someone was piloting the Exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Why is it not possible? Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? You just gotta ignore your you nipples? Know how to get inside an Exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four Exosols. And they were all moving too. Okay. I was controlling them remotely. Electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. We found, no way to stop an you know, we found a hammer right by the site of so the Exosols. We found one right by the site. You're right, it's impossible. We f yeah, we found this one right beside them. Wasn't it? It was right beside them. Found the ground near the Exos. Yeah, we found one right beside them. There's one way to stop an Exos. I have to show them. Yeah. If someone was piloting the Exos, we found one right beside them. Used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? Do we even know how to get inside an Exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four Exosols. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remotely. 
The electro hammers weren't an yep. option. This is where we this is where we kid, I think. Yesterday all the hammers <laughs> What a V counter to. We're getting lucky. Yeah, no. It just this is the, the, these clues that we're getting. They stick out of my mind so much even more than the other trials for some Not reason. All of the electro hammers were being Maybe it's charged. because like it, it felt like it wasn't even like I mean because it was like how like gruesome it was or maybe how close by everything was. Everything's very much related to kind of like the same things, right? I know because I found one. Yeah, we found one right beside them. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. That electro hammer used by the third party? Maybe they used it to disable an Exosol. Yes, I think so. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four Exosols. But this morning, there were only three. I noticed that too. Was the missing Exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? I have no earthly... Now we're talking about if the third party is like... See, that's, that's why I'm confused. Is the third party someone who's not here? Because to me, like, when I was, like, estimating who I think would have given the arrows to Kaito, Smoothie wouldn't have. Kiba wouldn't have. Himiko clearly didn't because she didn't lie about the one arrow thing. And she didn't know about the one arrow thing. The only per the only thing I can think of, and they were saying, like, oh, Maki's hiding something. Maki's hiding something. Why are you hiding something? Did she hand in the other two arrows? So there's not a... Th and she also said there's not a third party, so it's her. So it was a Maki. The identity of the third party is... The Electro Hammer gives us a clue. I saw four exits at the scene yesterday when we went, went to meet up with Kaito. This morning when we were trying to get in the hangar, there were three, and they were like, shut off. The culprit must use the Electro Hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person among us that I think could do that. Okay, yeah, like, Maki, right? Because, like, again, like we said, it can't be Smoothie. Smoothie, like, why? You know, Himiko's already told the truth about the one arrow thing. Kibo, like, I think Kibo would, like, be completely honest with giving the arrows away. You know, I, I don't, I, I think Maki was like, hey, here, take more. Yeah. It's you! Maki. You're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. Be careful, the electric hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against the exit, it'll run out of juice in just one shot, got it? The electro hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning... I don't need that. Oh, I didn't even think about this part. I was just thinking about like the, the, the logistics of like who would give the arrows to Kaito. This is much better. She's like, I'm, I have a knife. I have a knife. I also like, kind of like, in my head, I was thinking that she's the one that did the scratch marks on the thing, <laughs> on the on the the keypad thing. Maki was the only one without an electro hammer, wasn't she? Knowing that, the electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki, and that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? She's Maki really Maki. Two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab. Oh no. Disable the Exosaw with an electro. That means she knows way more than she's letting on. Hanger. Now we just have to figure out what happened after. I'll kill your logic. Wait. 
Why are you doing it's not this? it's not us, us against each other we're trying to find out the truth here what why are you getting in my way getting in your way getting in your way maki what are you yes i'm the third party huh i admit to going into the hangar with an exosol and then shooting the crossbow i didn't kill anyone i'm not the culprit We've never one of these. Okay, rebuttal showdown. Okay. For a second, I thought it was the armament already. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't... Crossbow three hours, large black case, electro bomb poison. You're right. Oh, God. I used the electro hammer. That was fast. That... Oh, my God. And I used the exosol to enter the hangar, oh, too. It's so fast, and, like, it's so it's hard to control this freaking thing. It's, like, so difficult to control this oh, thing. No. Like... You're right. I don't know how they I thought that, the like, this was, like... Hammer. Like easily and controllable. I, the to enter the hangar too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. I I, do, I don't believe you killed because someone. The crossbow was not the I didn't say you weapon. killed someone. I just said you're the third party. The crossbow is not the murder weapon. What do you mean? The arrows left holes in the clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. Oh my god. What? Why are they making this harder? It's already hard. It in a fatal injury. It's already hard. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. It's, Therefore, it's already the difficult. It didn't controlling this is already difficult. Oh no. It's a freaking clockwise motion you have to do. Right. I use the electro hammer. Look at this. And I use the exosol to enter the hangar too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. It would be really cool if she called them bolts as well. The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The arrows left holes in their clothes. Yep. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. Gee, I hate the way it moves like that. To each of those spots. Look at that! It's already a difficult game. It's already a difficult game. Please. Can't be the murder weapon. It's already difficult. I'm not the culprit. It's already difficult. It's already hard to control this. I want to think Maggie's the culprit. I want to believe her. So something about fatal wounds. The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. You're right. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. I'm trying to get better at this now, to be honest. I don't want to think the Maki is the culprit. I want to believe her. That's the problem with most things in this game, is having friends and wanting to believe them. But we know that... <sighs> the arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on hey, his arm this? and back. You think an arrow to this is so? Why is this like? Wouldn't result in a fatal injury. So for some, That's so we have to talk what made a fatal injury. Weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. I can't. I need to check these as well. I, I want to check them as well. Okay, let's check them really quick. The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. <laughs> They were on his arm and back. So Electro Bomb is not to do a, fa a fatal injury. An arrow to each of those Large spots. Black Case is not to do a fatal injury. Where are we going? Result in a fatal injury. Crossbow. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. I would love to be able to see what we have we're dealing with here. The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the location. Poison? Of the is the only thing that they would like result in a fatal back. injury? An arrow to each of those spots. Wouldn't result in a fatal injury. Like that? There we go. Okay. I'll there we go. Your words. Nice. That was that was difficult for me. That was hard. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit. If it oh, it was a poisoned poison. arrow. The poison? I just okay. I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. Yep. If that poison had been applied to those arrows. They would have been lethal, no matter where they connected. Maki, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you...
you say anything. Don't tell me. Are you really the culprit? <sighs> I'm not even going to accuse anyone of being the culprit yet. Th there's no way she is. Because why would she kill Kaito? Right now, we still don't know. They're still doing that question thing where it's like, is it Kaito or whatever? Who's in the freaking exit? But like, the most likely is Kukichi. We haven't gotten any conf confirmation on a death yet. Apart from the thing. <laughs> I can't understand if you don't explain anything. True. Very true. Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. Whoa. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant all of us. Must be all of us. That's it. <laughs> She's doing it. She's going for it. She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kobe. How is that going to work though? Sacrifice us? Then by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? Doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? I don't... I don't I, I, I'm so not with it yet. She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. The, millions of people have done that. And sorry, not millions. Tons of people have done that in this game so far. But that mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not. Maybe we do have the truth now. Yep, I agree. But this isn't over. I agree. Over. So much more evidence we as well. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence what? leads. What? Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? That wouldn't make any sense. Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? What did you Wait, say? That was, is that our suggestion? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So, Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So, Kaito said that. Your boy. Your boy, Kaito. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Oh. That's all she's thinking about? Of course we did. There was never really yeah, a, a fallout, see really. Yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving You're the best, everyone. girl. You're the best. Shuichi, you're so persistent. Were you always like that? Somewhat. I guess somewhat. Uh, you think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off. The best trio. The best trio. You're all rubbing off on each other. Maki's more sweet, I think, because Shuichi and Kaito... Um, she's also like, I think, I think, you know, she's even like smarter because of Shuichi. I think Shuichi's also like more brave because of uh, Kaito and uh, Maki. And I think Kaito's just his regular old self. <laughs> that guy could be pretty stubborn. Then what really happened? So sweet. So freaking sweet. So sweet. Maki, please tell us. Like, this is so crazy. They're all friends. Like, they're all friends. It's like, hey, just please tell us. Just please, you know? Please. And so, Maki began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all Is this intermission? In Don't just start narrating things. You're ruining the mood. That's what they intentionally do in this game. It's an intentional thing. Well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. Oh my god, there's two different exes all sounds. Is this intermission? There it is. Wow.
Yeah, there's Monokum with uh, and the Cubs theater. There's no Cubs. And in the Monokum with the Cubs theater segment began. But with all the Monokums destroyed, this segment was no longer possible. And so the curtain quickly fell. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you. This game's amazing. I love this game. The flashback light became the motive. When Kokichi remembered that he was a remnant of despair, I planned to kill him. It's good to be honest like this as well. I thought that if I killed him, this game and the battle between hope and despair would end. I was confident in my talent as an assassin. I knew I would be able to do Yeah, because you're awesome. And I also think it's really cool that, like, or really beneficial that we all support each other in this because that's the only way we're even going to have a chance in this. If we all stay friends. We've tried to end this killing game before, but... Anyone I leave. Huh? That's what I thought. I knew Kokichi would take advantage of my naivete. Naivete is such a good word. Him. <laughs> Maki totally gets I think we all get you at this point, Kokichi. That's why. I needed to settle it myself. I took the poison arrows and the crossbow. And broke into the hangar with an exosol. But when I entered the hangar, I saw something I never expected. <laughs> Oh my god, they already shot each other. Kokichi were fighting each other. Oh my god, look at the baby. <laughs> He's just a baby with an arrow in his arm. Someone help him. Kokichi was shot in the arm with a crossbow arrow. Probably by Kaito when he fought back. Like, all, honestly, a one-on-one -on -one fight? I actually give it to Kokichi. Both of them stopped and looked at the Exosol. Most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. That's the thing. That's the difference. Like that's why like I don't like fully ever really fully believe that Kokichi is the mastermind because there's never been a mastermind that's shocked at like something in Trial Five. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? Like the, like or near Trial Five, and there's never will never be a mastermind in Trial Five, the second last trial, that will have a arrow in their arm. <laughs> I think there's something much more going on here. There might be two. There might be one. I don't know. Because my whole estimation on this is because uh, of the way that in the last trial as well, or this trial as well, when we were talking about the Mastermind, uh, we were like, that's too convenient. That's too easy. That's what they kept saying. And they don't say stuff in half measures in this game. And also, he's the way he talked to Monokuma, we talked about this as well in private. And I think he's also very too sloppy. Unless this is all intentional, letting us in here and stuff like this. All before he could, and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. That should have been enough to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. But he has so much sweetness in him that it counteracted it. The Strike Nine poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? There's no antidote for it. Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. I wanted Kokichi to confess his true intentions. Oh. And find out why he was always lying and trying to confuse us. It's a baby. Just a baby, I think. What do you mean? If he was the mastermind, it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows, right? He could have made it seem as if the late Junko was secretly behind this killing game. True. That way, he could reveal himself as the surprise mastermind to liven up the game. Because of his suspicious actions... Anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind. Especially with that message. And I don't think, I don't, again, like that message, he was like, what message? You know what I mean? And then he's like, no, it's my message, you know? Kokichi said it was a hint, but was it necessary for him to go out of his way just for a hint? As a remnant of despair, I imagine he wanted to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. So even he wanted, yeah, even he wanted that despair. I'm so like, I don't know, this is a lot for me. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. Yeah, that's a good point. 
Yuki must have wanted to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. I mean, that's most of us with Kokichi, to be honest. Oh my god, that's so cool! What are you talking about? That's a baby! Remnants of despair? What's that? He doesn't even know what it is! He doesn't even know who Jun Junko is! I'm sorry, he's a ba he has like size two shoes. That's a baby. You ha you were pointing a crossbow at a baby. Maki, you look freaking awesome. That's a baby. I, I don't understand. He doesn't know what that is. Anything he doesn't know what the remnants saying. of despair is. He doesn't know what a freaking uh. He doesn't know. Does he even know what Junko is? I know he said it. But didn't he? I know. I think he said it. Anyway, why are you starting up? He doesn't even know. Oh my god. He just. He doesn't even... I'm the mastermind. There's two arrows in Kukichi. Oh my god. Do you love killing that much? So is he dead? Two poison arrows. Shut up, you asshole. Oh my god. Look at that. I realized it was pointless to continue the conversation. <laughs> so I shot the final Wait. arrow. But then... Oh, I get what happened here already. You psycho, Kaito. What? Wait. Kaito protected Kokichi? Are both of them dead? Because of the poison. The, the... Why? Why would Kaito protect Kokichi? At that moment, my mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. Yeah. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab. That's why the all antidote. the antidotes were on the table. She was looking for the antidote. So you didn't have the antidote with you at the time. No, she wasn't planning on saving Kokichi. <laughs> I used Strike Nine poison to torture Kokichi for info. Yeah. But I planned to kill him from the start. <laughs> That's so. Mean. This is like when a killer, you know, goes into like uh to kill someone with their mask off. It's like they're they're not planning on on letting you live. But that was my first mistake. Because of that. You what? I ended up killing Kaito. Wait, Kaito? Wait, wait, wait. But that means the both of them must have died. The both got poisoned. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. Did Kokichi put him in the freaking thing then? After he died and crushed him? I assumed it was Kokichi's doing. But because of that, I couldn't enter the hangar but anymore. But did you see Kokichi? I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow, so I went to the bathroom window. Kaito, can you hear me? Quick, drink this antidote! That's like the loudest she's ever spoken in her life. After calling out to him, I chucked the antidote through the bathroom window. Kaito noticed it and grabbed the antidote. But... Kokichi oh, so Kokichi drank it. So Kaito is dead? These, these drawings are amazing. Can't die here. Since I'm the mastermind of this killing game. That outfit's freaking sick, Kokichi. Wait, there's only one antidote. Oh no. Wait, so Kaido's dead? Oh, you don't have to worry about Kaito. He fulfilled his dream, right? He already went to space. Oh my no. That is all. Oh. It's true. But not in the way we want it to be. That's so sad. He he was in space this whole time. That's so sad. Damn it. Whew, I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. <sighs> but the poison's still in you, dude. You gotta take out those arrows. Or maybe not. He got There's to no see. He already got to, to space. To that is the saddest thing in the freaking world, my guys. Last trial? 
You'll be the black for this case, you know. The black and who killed. Oh, Kaiba. and then that, that, what's that gonna do to Maki? Because accidental kills still count. Shut it. Screw the class trials. Like hell, am I gonna let you have your way? Kaito, why did you protect Kokichi? If you didn't help him, then. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why did that hit me? Um, it's... I don't know why, like, the combination of these already gone to space and now Maki screaming for him is too much to take. I couldn't help it. Even if it's Kokichi, I, I can't have you kill anybody. What? Aww. Kaito wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki. <sighs> she was going to become the black and of course he protected her. Fucking hell, Kaito. The situation just got way worse. Huh. Maki is going to become the black and responsible for killing you. All because you protected me. So don't you worry, Makiro. I'm not going to die that easily. <sighs> Just Even in his last moments, I'll he's saying, just leave it to me. Of course game. he is. He's trying to act tough. Even in his last moments. <laughs> You're still full of energy. Even like that. <sighs> you really are not boring. What? <laughs> I want to see what a dying... Oh, so sick. Kichi, this is not the time. So, show me what you've got. I won't meddle with your plans. What are you? So hard to watch. Don't mind me. Run, Maki Roll. Just hurry up and run. Run and live. Oh, you gotta. You live. gotta live is like the worst thing you could say to someone. Gets me every time. I refuse to give up. I tried to enter the hangar by breaking. Oh yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew. It. I, knew. I saw those scratchings. Yeah, I saw those marks. I saw those marks. So that's where the marks yep. the control panel came from, huh? After that, I returned to the bathroom window once more. But I didn't the Sorry. bathroom door was closed. I called out, but neither Kaito nor Kokichi answered. I couldn't do anything anymore. All I could do. That's the worst when you know you can't do anything in a situation. I know this situation is way worse than anything we've been in in our lives, but like when you can't do anything, it makes you feel freaking helpless. That's when I made up my mind. As the blackened who killed Kaito, I would kill Kokichi during this class trial in exchange for all of your lives. Jesus Christ, but like. So that's what happened. Then Kokichi, knowing what he knew, still helped Maki Of course, because it made crime. this whole trial. It made this whole trial way more entertaining for him. Was that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press? Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless. As his friend, I felt obliged to As his friend. Him. How dare you make fun of oh, him! Oh, yeah, she's gonna get him. You call yourself a friend? You enjoyed watching us suffer! You fucking asshole! Ooh, Maki is so scary. Good thing I'm in this exosol. Pretty sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. So, what are everyone's plans now? With the truth out in the open, who are you guys gonna vote for? You can vote. I'm sorry, for this me, is so. But if you do, we'll all die together. Or vote for Maki. Oh yeah, because uh, he would die. He would die as well. I forgot that, like, but if he's the mastermind, would he die? Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Why? Why are you so calm? Your life... Who cares? Just choose already. Come on, who are you going to vote for? This is so difficult. No, we can't vote yet. We don't have the whole truth. Shuichi's going to freaking save the day. I mean, we are.
This case isn't over. Oh my god, yes, we're gonna save the day. Hi. Thank you for telling us everything, Maki. Thanks to you, I finally understand. There's another hidden truth within your testimony. A hidden truth? Yes, I'm positive. Because there's something wrong with a testimony you've given us. Do you you see something? Part of Maki's testimony that doesn't add up. Kaito protecting Kokichi, the control panel being damaged, Maki becoming the blackened, Kokichi drinking the antidote. Wait, what? So it's not these two. These add up perfectly. It's one of it's this one? No, I think I think she's I think she's telling the truth with that though, yeah. So it has to be this one then. But what what about it? Maki becoming the blackened does add up. Kokichi drinking the antidote makes perfect sense. That's it. Oh, what? Okay. Maki said she used a knife to try to break the control panel and enter the hangar. But that doesn't make sense because there's an alarm system on the shot. Oh, so she couldn't even get close to the alarm system. Oh. Okay. Well, here's the thing, guys. I want to talk about this for a second or take some time to talk about this for a second before we move forward. Um, this is an incredibly emotional trial. And also, like, it's it. everything Maki said adds up so much just because of, like, like apart from this part, apparently, for what Kaito was saying. Like, Kaito just being completely freaking honest with us and being like, you know, sorry, Kaito, like, just being honest with you guys, Kaito's, like, personality is 100%, like, he's the type of guy who would get stabbed, like, 15 times and then go, uh, I'm a fan. You know, he's like that. Um, the line about him not getting to space really, really got to me. It really, really did uh, get to me. Uh, this is a serious cliffhanger. We're ending on a serious cliffhanger. This is, this is going to happen sometimes, guys. We're ending on a serious, serious cliffhanger. Um, which I'm fine with because I feel like the next part of the trial is going to be very chunky. Um, we're going to be getting into some very deep stuff in the next few parts of this trial. We'll see how far it goes, see how long it goes, I suppose, is probably the way we put it. Uh, regardless of that, guys, thank you so much for watching this. And thank you so much to the producer tier that can never repay the baby gangster tier. Ty Fire 2 Jamie Bull, Janet the Banana, Smidge, Rachel S, Normal Cara, Felicitous Felix, George, Candelaria, S. Kuhn, Yult, and Radish. I should also say that uh, a lot of the newer subscribers coming in are wondering why they're called baby gangsters. Uh, and it's very funny. <laughs> I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.